Tis the season, eh? Check out this article that CNN just put up this morning. In fact, it's a, it's a video. But I'm not going to play this video. It's just disgusting. But actually, this, this has to be one of the first times CNN is promoting some historic truth. But I'm sure they're completely unaware of it. And yes, the authors only wrote it because it would obviously make them a lot of money due to the fact that the present truth towards homosexuality is the norm for all the Vatican-inspired politics in America. I mean, a topic like this that is so shocking is bound to turn heads to better promote their book. But what shocks me is why some parents are actually upset about this, since they have been promoting Santa Claus as either a cross-dressing woman, a homosexual, or a transgender for literally decades. Well, centuries, to be honest with you. And yes, I can prove what I just said. Notice this, if you will. In Latin, as well as in Spanish, San is used before the names of so-called male saints. I mean, most have heard the names like San Juan, San Francisco, San Diego, or even San Jose, because many Catholic states seem to end up having cities named after them due to the Vatican's political control over such things. But notice this now. Whenever Santa precedes the name being used in such cities named after Catholic saints, it is only used before the names of female saints, such as Santa Maria, Santa Monica, Santa Barbara, or even Santa Anna. And so we can clearly see from the age-old and proper linguistic usage of these names and or titles, no one with common sense can doubt that San precedes the name of a man and Santa precedes the name of a woman. With that said, we can easily determine that the proper use of the name or title Santa Claus is female in gender. And this is why I stated CNN actually spoke of Santa's husband in a more truthful or linguistic manner than they even realized. This means Santa Claus is either a cross-dressing woman, a transgender, or he is simply a homosexual that uses the female gender as a way to get close to children. In any event, most alive today miss all this because next to no one knew what the prophet Daniel knew and declared thousands of years ago when speaking of the men leading the Church of Rome who invent these so-called saints. He stated in Daniel chapter 11, verse 37, Neither shall he regard the God of his fathers, nor the desire of women, nor regard any God, for he shall magnify himself above all. And I have actually made a few videos about that, in fact. But today, with all the biblical and historical evidence compiled against the Church of Rome as being the largest known organized group of homosexual pedophiles on the planet all throughout their long history, one would have to expect they would see the need to have someone like a Santa Claus promoted in a way for centuries so as to get little boys and little girls the world over to trust him enough for them to sit on his lap in shopping malls telling him or her, for that matter, their most cherished desires. And yes, all their parents are to blame in that they saw no sin in lying to their children about a flesh-indulgent fat man who flies around the world with reindeer, who then lands on their roof, climbs down their chimney to place gifts under a vulgar Roman phallic symbol or Christmas tree, as most call it today. And just like Santa Claus of old, the tens of thousands of articles exposing how Roman Catholic priests have used candy and toys to lure millions of little children into their bedrooms to endanger their souls, one can expect CNN, an obvious Catholic news network, to boldly promote homosexuality in a way that will be very attractive to little children the world over by using a cross-dressing pedophile known as Santa Claus. Thank you for watching. God bless.